Hi beautiful, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing this really cute like half up half down with these ballies. This red, I showed you how to get the color, I showed me installing it. I showed the baby hair, I showed the ponytail, I showed the ballies, I showed all that. All that. Stay tuned to keep watching see so y'all got it. I know you want to stay. All I gotta say is, Mwah! and you already know who it is. So I figured that a voiceover would be best suited for a video like this because there's a lot of shit going on. So right now I'm using my L'Oreal True Blue and this L'Oreal 40 volume developer. And I had shit on the bottom of that bow and did not notice. That's gross. I'm sorry about that. So now I'm going to go ahead and put on some gloves. And these are just some gloves I got from the dollar store. And I did this the real lazy way. Do I recommend doing it this lazy way? No. Do I recommend that you put your wig in this bow? And I just had to sit in there that long? Yeah, I guess I did not care editing because I just really had that chill in there. But yeah, I don't recommend y'all do this whatsoever because it started steaming. I was scared. I had to hurry up and go rinse it out. So the, the middle of the wig is like way lighter than the rest of it. But it ended up being okay. Like, as you can see, the blonde ended up being light enough. I'm going to have to link these colors in the description box. I don't remember what they're called. I think... I used three, uh, uh, cobalt red and turquoise blue, but I don't remember the brand. I'm going to leave the link in the de description. What I ended up doing is mixing all four of those colors together because I wanted the blue to give a tint to the to the reds. So I mixed those off camera and then poured them back into the bottle. So it may look like I'm using the red color, but the blue is mixed into each and every one of them because I dumped it all out and then mixed them all together, poured them back into the bottles. But I don't think y'all needed to see that. Because y'all didn't need to see that. It was better that I just explained it to you, baby. But I do want to say, I think I really do enjoy coloring hair now. Like, I never knew that it could be this easy to do. And, like, it's kind of, like, relaxing. But I just want y'all know saturation is key. Saturation is key. Saturation is key. Like, if, if you don't do nothing else while dyeing your hair, make sure every single, single piece of bitty, every inch, every square, every, every, every single individual hair is covered in that dye that's all you gotta do and just maintain it like i want to do some colorful stuff soon because i feel like this was easy so i can move on to the eat to the next thing and also let's shout out lord i got on a lord pure heroin t-shirt on that my dumb ass decided to cut into a crop top when i was 13 so i thought that was a good idea regret that wish i would have kept it full length but that has nothing to do with this tutorial i'm gonna keep dying this hair but this is pretty self-explanatory just keep dyeing your hair, make sure you get everything covered, and you'll be good. But as you can see, the, the bleach ended up becoming real, um, all over. It was pretty even. But as for this frontal, that Vaseline trick, ugh, wow, y'all. It's such a lifesaver. I don't care about getting anything on this, this lace now because I just know it's going to be really okay. Like, the Vaseline on the lace is such a good trick. Please put that Vaseline on your lace. A girl had commented, um, how do you get the Vaseline out the lace? And I thought she was like... I don't know, not that she was dumb, but I was like, what do you mean, like, just wash it out? But I used a thicker Vaseline than the last time. Use that, like, expensive Vaseline, like that Vaseline brand Vaseline, and not that cheap Vaseline, because that's going to take forever to get out your hair. But if you use the Vaseline, that's the brand name Vaseline, it's thinner and it gets out your hair easier. But yeah, that thicker Vaseline, this got, it was stuck all up in my hair. My hair, I'm still wearing this wig right now, and it's not that greasy at the root, but, like, as you can see when I'm about to go and it you can see that it's kind of greasier at the root and that's because I didn't get all the Vaseline out so I would recommend that you get the name brand Vaseline and I know cheapo Vaseline like I did first time I had the right Vaseline second time no but I'm gonna just keep running this through there and it's okay you can get as much dye on the lace as you need try to be careful with it but like it's really gonna be okay it's gonna wash out I promise like and if it don't I don't know I can't compensate you in no way but I really feel like if you do it right you should be fine period so here's the wig here's what she ended up looking like and like i said the middle of the wig is lighter than the rest so it's a little off but i can just tell y'all that i want dimension that's fine i just wanted some dimension in my hair i wanted some some different colors yeah my lion ass yeah i didn't mean for that to happen but it happened anyway and it was fine i'm gonna start installing this i'm using the i'm a slay your bay gummy glue i love this glue like i really think it's my new favorite glue it just really hits different. It just, it you're going to see how much my lace melts. I think this glue, hand in hand with a really good lace, it's like you have no choice but to have a great ass install. 
you have no choice but to have a great ass install. You're gonna, I can't wait for y'all to see me raise this lace off because it's really gonna look so good. But right now, I'm just doing my usual installing methods. I hope y'all ain't come for a tutorial tutorial because, baby, this ain't the place for that. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna go ahead and install this like normal. I'm gonna apply the glue to the to my lace and not my lace, my forehead, and then push the glue. Girl, I guess I cannot talk. I'm gonna push the lace into the glue using my comb. Now, I will say there's this new trick that this girl on TikTok, it was a white girl, but she was using, she was putting on her wig, and she, like, used the elastic band from the back of the wig to hold hold it, the back up. I wish I could explain that better, but I'm going to try to do that in my next video because it looked real cool. I meant to do it in this video, but I cut it weird, so it didn't happen. That's why you didn't see the footage from that, but I really am going to attempt that because I thought that was so cool. Like, she really snapped on that. We love white ingenuity. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, y'all, I'm going to keep installing this wig. It's nothing crazy. It's nothing special. I feel like I've been talking y'all's ear off. I know y'all don't mind because y'all like talking to me. But I mind because I'm running my mouth right now. I'm running out of spit. So I'm going to let y'all do. Oh, I guess I can't stop talking. Damn it. I got to tell y'all that I plugged this wig because I just thought it wasn't plugged enough. So I did this a little bit. Not a little bit. A lot of bit. You're going to see my wig look a lot more natural in like the next clip after this. But I actually love plucking on my head because I get to see what it actually looks like. But I do pluck off camera and like on the mannequin head. And then I try to pluck a little bit on like on my head as I'm installing. Because I think that really just makes it look so natural and like kind of customized to my like head or whatever. So I enjoy plucking it while it's on my head. Do I get to stop talking now? Yes, no? No, I don't. Okay, here's what I did when I talk for this though. Y'all y'all about to see my lace like go away. Like it's really just gonna look so good. Wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Wow. I know y'all should, because I'm shit. I really thought that looked so good in person. Like, like what lace? This is my hair. And I'll show you guys, like, the the how I got no dye on the lace in a minute. But, like, this looks so good. I never thought red hair could look this natural on a wig. I really never did. It looks phenomenal. And shout out to you, Nice Hair, because this lace is really nice. Like, the hair feels so soft. As you can see, like, you see how it's kind of stringy at the top? But that's only because I left some uh, Vaseline in the hair. I tried to wash it out, but yeah, like I said, don't get that cheapo Vaseline for the for the, for the the frontal. You got to get the expensive one. I know, it's annoying. I, I, trust me, I would have got the cheap one too had I known. I, when I wouldn't have got that had I known that it was going to fuck me up like this. But it was okay in the end. I'm really talking y'all's ear off. I'm doing my baby hair. Hey, baby hair. I'm doing my baby hair right now. And yeah, that's about it. Now I think I can shut up. Is this where I shut up? I'm going to shut up and do my baby hair. And I'm going to come back for the ponytail. All right. I'm going to fuck with you. And just like that, I'm back talking your ear off. I'm using my pump it up, my spritz. Y'all know what it is. I'm going to go ahead and tie this into a ponytail. And y'all, I'm really proud of myself because I was stressed because I was about to go to dinner with my friends. And I recorded two videos this day. And I was trying to get a lot of shit done this day. And I was like, God, please let me miss. I was like, God, I had to start over with my prayer. I was like, God, please let me get this ponytail done in one try. Like, I'm begging you. Like, I really don't want no problems, God. Like, just give me this one favor. And like, look. He did. And that's why if you ask, it shall be yours. Like, don't, a closed mouth don't get fed. And that's why you got to ask. Because God's going to give it to you. Amen. Amen. Okay. So then I started hot combing the hair to get it flat. And then I wrapped this hair around, which was kind of pointless. I'm going to be real. Because I put them ballies over top of it. So, like, this part is, like, totally unnecessary. And I put a bobby pin in the back. But, like I said, totally unnecessary. Didn't need it. But then I ended up putting these ballies around the top. I'm not going to tell you where to get ballies from. Because if you don't know where to get ballies from, you don't need to be wearing no ballies. And that's just that. You know where to get ballies at if you know where to get ballies at. And that, amen, amen. So I'm putting these ballies in. And it was real cute because the next day I wore some white ones and some clear ones. Um, If you see me on Instagram, you see me on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. Beauty B. Julia. I lost my scarf, by the way. And I just had this little um 
this little tie thing and i'd use that to tie my shit up but ended up working the same old way i put on my lips off camera from my little outfit was looking real cute i look so good this day y'all y'all seen in the thumbnail what i was looking like you know you saw how i was coming but yeah and then i went ahead and bumped the root of the ponytail so it get that like going out effect and then i did my sideburns and i love doing my sideburns like this now i really want to know how tay does his but this looks so good to me like i feel like tay touched my baby hair himself even though he didn't it was just me you know whatever i still feel like it looks so good and yeah that just mm, mm. here's the final look here's my final remarks okay so this is the final look i just got back from dinner and i was on my friends a little bit like we were just hanging out so my makeup is like a little tired i'm not gonna lie i'm looking a little like i need to take my makeup off here's the final look i think this is so cute like i never knew i needed to be a redhead this bad like i knew i wanted to do it deep down i've been wanting to do this for a minute and although it took some like twists and turns it still turned out really good like even though the color is like really different in the back and stuff i can just lie and say that i wanted to mention that always works because you know it really is some dimension i think i'm gonna stand up real quick so you guys can see the back of my head i just want to say i bleached this hair and i thought about bleaching it twice but i didn't want to like do too much damage this hair still feels like so soft and the luster is still there i, I really like uni's hair you nice i really like their hair like every time i've used it it's always been like a super good experience i got fixed his baby hair I forgot to mention, but this hair is a 13 by 4 frontal. It's transparent lace. It's 26 inches. I feel like I look good. People on Instagram are loving it, so thanks to y'all. Follow me on Instagram. I never be like subscribe to me and stuff, but y'all better follow me on Instagram. You can you can lurk on my on my YouTube as long as you're watching these ads, but you can follow me on this Instagram. Beauty B Julia, give me a follow. That's all I gotta say. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, beautiful.